Hello and welcome back everyone to year two of Stranded Alien Dawn. These old group of folks, plus Xander. I am so excited to see what they get up to this year, but I am going to tell you guys something. Oh, wait. Yes, there's a new crash! Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I was going to have them go do something immediately, but now I'm thinking somebody's got to go to this crash, right? This could be really important, so I'm going to send Carter right away. But then I'll tell you what we're going to do, okay? Well, I have no idea why he's constructing a poem. Maybe he was already on the way to do that. But I will tell you guys what else we're going to do after that. It is now the spring of year two. So that means that we need to plant everything again. That's going to be pretty exciting. But I also want to do something dangerous, something wild. Goodbye, Carter. I want to go kill a nest. Yes, I know we're probably going to die, but I am going to be really excited to do it. Where is a freaking nest? After much searching, I have found us a nest. Or at least one that we can attack. Fun anecdote, there's one right next to it. And they're really not that far. So it's kind of interesting. I never thought that they were this close. This is very, very convenient. But you also have to realize that we're attacking this only with pistols and a bow. I don't have Daniel. Daniel's just going to stay home. So that's also a big, mm, you know, a big question mark. So let's hope for the best, really. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bit of an oof if we don't get this done. But I'm hoping that we will, right? I'm hoping that they'll make it happen. Obviously, it's not going to happen tonight because Carter is gone. But imagine if Carter finds another person. <gasps> don't even say it, Lainey. Don't even say it. Don't even get yourself excited. Oh, hello. Speaking of which, a part of the debris caught my attention, so I went to investigate. Doing so, I found the remains of a communications hub, and with some effort, I was able to pull out an intact orbital radio core. Yes! With some research, it should be possible to use the core in the construction of orbital communication devices and contact any ships that pass near the planet. A chance for salvation. Oh my god, they're actually gonna get saved! We will see about that. Oh, that's wonderful, Carter! Come back home, that's better than a person. We don't need a person, right? We have this salty group of survivors, plus Xander. They're gonna be just fine, even without Xander. Although, to be fair, Xander is doing a lot of work. He is helping out, let's say. But, ooh, the turrets are done. <gasps> I could be doing the turrets, guys. I could be doing the turrets. So I definitely won't. But the reason why I want to do the nest is kind of important, all right? I think we might be able to survive the next attack even without the turret. Oh, unless it's birds, let's hope not. But I think we might be able to survive. And the reason why I want to make sure that I do get that animal nest is because I am going to be able to get carbon nanotubes, which I think is going to be the way we upgrade the base. I was going to go with cement and then I was going to go with brick. But then I realized I have no hay for brick and I have no stone for cement. So basically, I think our best bet is to go straight nano. Let's look over here to see what else he's doing. Right now, he's doing the sensor devices, which are kind of key with the turrets. That way, they're not always on. So that's going to be really nice. Plus, the sensor devices, it's also going to allow us to have a thing where the lights only come on during the night. Another research insight. He's actually the best. And now we can learn our orbital radio. We, okay, so this is the one that I want. I want carbon rooms. Research, construction basics, and then carbon nanotubes. That's what we need to find. If we do want to make a little bit of stone fortifications, we'll just make them outside of these wood ones. So I'll probably just double down, and when they break, I just won't repair them. I would love to expand this at least an inch here. Like make it just a bit girthier. And the reason for that is to have Daniel and everybody else working in the same room. It just builds friendships, I feel. So that would be really nice if we make it a little bit girthy this way. Since if anybody else comes, they're going to have to go into a room right here. But yeah, I, I feel like our house is totally fine. And they might be able to get out of this hole. I'm so excited. Like, I'm so pleased for them. All right, but now that Daniel's back, or rather Connor's back, we need to get going. I want to make sure that somebody has a lot of armor, you know, to, just to make sure they don't die. We don't have that. We can give them a synthetic vest, which is definitely going to be better than that. Uh, we don't have synthetic chest. We don't have any shirt for him. Uh, let's see if there's anything else I can wear. Oh, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, at least Yoko is well-dressed. That's something. Xander is not. My poor man, Xander. Nice. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get out of here. Let's do this thing. Okay, here we go. Yoko's gonna end up pulling them. I'm not scared at all, guys. I'm not scared at all. Okay, I'm totally terrified. Okay, we're gonna put Vivian here, Xander here, and just make sure Carter is at the front. Yoko is probably gonna shoot from far away, so we don't have to worry too much about her. Okay, come on, come on, come on.
Oh shit, they're on Carter, they're on Carter. Carter is in a little bit of pain. This has not been the best attack of my life, I'll be honest. Perfect, I'm just dealing with all the little guys. And then worrying about the big guys later. Oh, this guy is really on Carter. Yeah, finish him off, man. Okay, good. Okay, I gotta go back. Goodbye, Carter. Goodbye. Oh my god, we're actually fine. Uh, I think I'm gonna send Vivian home, too. Right? Just because she also looks like she's in a little bit of trouble. And we're gonna keep Yoko, and we're gonna keep Xander, who seemed to be fairly healthy. This was so ballsy, by the way, to take it with regular pistols. And a bow. <laughs> I didn't even wait till they were all armored. And I also didn't wait until we had, like, a better weapon. A rifle or a stun rifle or anything. This was such a ballsy move. But I think we got it, man. I think we got it. And there's still another one, but I'm not gonna do that one right away. We do have to murder this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it with Xander and Yoko. And then hopefully, once this is dead, they won't be revived. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Undraft these guys, go home. And then I will have to observe this, I know, but Daniel's gonna heal them first. I think that's the best way to go about it. Oh my god, I am so happy that worked out. I can't believe they made it. I don't know if he should be healing Vivian first, but I guess he really likes Vivian more. Carter is bleeding out, Daniel, though, you know? So your preferences need to be... Oh, hey, never mind. <laughs> never mind, he got her, and now he's on to Carter. My god, Daniel, you're a hero. You got everybody. My boy, man. Okay, now I go send him researching. Because he was sleeping for a while, so he might be able to go and do the research at night. I don't think that's gonna be that bad. We're gonna make him go to the corner one here so he doesn't die, you know? <laughs> we'll do this one. And I'm not even gonna observe these or butcher them because it's so far away from the house. We're already gonna have to carry all these things back home. So we might as well just leave it and then, you know, he'll do that. We'll try to attack this other one before the season ends. But as you can see, that was dicey. That was, that was not exactly the easiest thing. We gotta give them some time to recover. I also realized that we got a lot of these rocks here. So I'm gonna observe that too. Poor Daniel, he's got a lot of things to do, but he'll get that done. It's not a big deal. Oh, he's also feeding people. Oh, amazing. Yeah, observe this rock, Daniel. That would be nice to get some metal going. So I'm not gonna do it before this attack because I think that might be wild. But I will get these constructed. I think right now... I am going to pause on any construction so that they don't get built. I know that seems kind of nuts, but the reason why I don't want it to get built is because once they get built, they will get attacked. So I can't have that happen, right? So I'm going to build these once I'm ready to build this area here, the hallway. And I'm probably going to extend the hallway up a little bit so I can fill it with traps and, you know, do the, do the whole thing. And I think it's going to look really good. And once I have three of each on this side, I don't think they're actually going to have any issues. I'm so happy for them. I think we might actually be fine. Well, after the next attack. The next attack is going to be a risky bisky. There we go. I just want to make sure that we have light in case we get attacked at night. That's going to make a lot of difference, right? Like, maybe we don't have the flamethrowers, which is a little bit bummy. But we will have the lights. And the lights are going to make all of the difference. These bugs are going to be all lit up. They're not going to have, like, the miss, 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 miss. I mean, hopefully. Daniel is observing a very interesting rock. Lovely. We discovered the ore deposit. So now that's done. I'm going to be able to get these. That's going to be really nice. I'm going to be able to mine. Go, go, go. And then... Wait. What? How is he going this way? Oh, okay. Oh, it's closer that way. Oh, very interesting. I kept looking from this side. <laughs> I suppose he knows the best route, right? Oh, look at Daniel. He's doing it. He's observing the... Uh-oh. Actually, just keep observing the nest. <laughs> we got we got a fight on our hands, okay? It's only 46. That's really not too bad. I mean, yes, there are a lot of biggie guys. There's 31 overgrown and 15 huge overgrown. Those are going to be the worst ones. Yeah, the explodey boys. I'm not sure these are the explodies, but they, I think they are. They're the red ones. It doesn't matter. They take a lot of damage, so we're going to hope for the best for them. And I'm going to just hope my people can defend it. I could go ahead and finish these off and move them back. That is something I could do. But I mean, they're going to take a whole lot of damage. No, no, no. We can hold without that. I believe that we can. So I'm just going to let them do their thing. 
I'm gonna try to keep Daniel away if I can. I know he was coming back to eat, but mm -mm. No, 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 just stay out there. Oh, I have to make sure they all get out of the house. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, 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 all right. The bugs are on their way now. Perfect. I am gonna make sure Yoko stays back here because she does have the bow. And I'm gonna put him here, Vivian here. And Xander is at the front lines. He's the big guy, you know? He's the young man. He can take it. So far, so good. The traps are holding. The traps are holding. I'm going to go ahead and back up a little bit. Just to make sure that he doesn't get hit. And we are in business. Look at all these traps. Wait, why are these not working? Oh, okay. How was like, <laughs> Is there no fuel in them? There is. They just were not activating. Okay, Sander took a little bit of a beating, but it's not that big of a deal. Really easy, honestly. I would love them to have better weapons, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. But I think this all worked out quite well. And now we could even fix this if we really wanted to. There it is! The nest formation! He did it! Mining of carbon nanotubes from Shrieker Nest. The nest formations turned out to hide a curious secret. It looks like their inhabitants process the materials in the soil to create complex carbon shells, which then they can put together to form incubators and shelters. It should be possible to carefully mine out and use this fine carbon nanotubes, considering that we take care of the nest owners first. Oh, we will. We shall. To actually learn them, I will have to mine these. And that's going to be Carter and that's going to be Xander. And I think they can actually get it done. Oh, he did it. He got it. Carter. Look at him go. <laughs> Bringing home the goods. And also, we finished first aid kits. But most importantly, Carter delivering the goods. When does he not ever, though? Carter is the best. The absolute pimpest of us all. So very, very exciting. Oh, a new rainstorm. And you know what I realized? Now that I also have metal from ore, I can go until I have, I don't know, like 500. And we'll do the same over here, too. Metal from ore until we have like 500, too. We don't have the ability to make brick. That's the only issue I have right now. I've also chopped down a little bit on our farm here. I've reduced it a bit. And I might reduce it more. I don't know. I just want to make sure that everything looks okay. Get a research inside. Damn, Daniel. This is like your third one this season. Oh, he's amazing, isn't he? So I am considering just making another cornfield. I know. That's nuts. Like right there, just so it looks a little bit better. <laughs> I don't know if that looks better, but you know. It looks better in my mind, so we'll go with that. Uh, but yeah, the reason why I'm making more corn is because I'm using it for everything. I'm using it to make fuel. I'm using it to make moonshine. Uh, I'm using it for absolutely everything. Oh, I can make the carbon brooms now. I also realized I will go ahead. Maybe I will just pause the that one. We'll learn the orbital radio first. I'm not sure why. We can't really afford it. But uh, no, you know what? Maybe we'll learn the carbon rooms first and then the orbital radio just to see what it requires for me to get one of these. Oh, and a shooting star. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, Carter is mining, so maybe we send somebody else. I don't know. I mean, I could send my girl Vivian. She's doing okay. Like, she's got a painful scar, but that's it. <laughs> I'm like, that's it. She just has a painful scar. Not a big deal. Yeah, let's send her. Why not? You know, let's see what happens to her. Carter reaching physical six is actually really neat because that means that we're going to be able to get a lot more from every expedition. So that's one of my biggest concerns that I didn't have anybody with high enough physical. And I'm hoping Xander and Carter will get there together. But Carter getting there quicker is obviously going to happen because he does have a talent that allows him to learn skills a lot faster. It's basically one of his best qualities. <laughs> he learns skills twice as fast. Oh, we did it. Carbon rooms. Oh, my. I've never got into carbon rooms. I usually kill them before then. Or, you know, I just, I survive without it. So this is kind of cool. We're able to go up a little. We're able to live it up. And I'm thinking I will also try to do all oh, carbon floors. It's 300 integrity versus 100 versus 70. This is insanely better. Wow, wow, we, this is so good. The walls have 500 integrity? That's five times better than the other stuff. I mean, that makes sense, I guess. You know, it's made out of good stuff. I wonder if they do have fences, though. No, there's no carbon fencing. But we could go with carbon wall. I mean, it wouldn't be the best, but it's not the worst. 500 integrity is better than this. This is 250. So even a carbon wall would be better than the wood one here. However, 
the concrete might still be better. So if we were able to learn the concrete fortification, that would be better, obviously, than that. But, uh, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. This is what we have. An ore deposit. I discovered some interesting rocks where the meteorite fell. They likely contain ore. Ah, uh, she's not going to get a whole lot, but that's okay. Vivian is back home with a little bit of ore. That's all she found there. Now, she doesn't have high physical, like I said. That's why she didn't get that much. But Carter is the only one getting this. So, you know, I just have to leave him here as long as I can. And that one had a time. I'm trying not to go on any expeditions right now. I'm going to try and focusing on finishing this. Okay, we did finish the concrete rooms. And it is obviously a lot worse than these. But you also have to think about it this way. It's a lot worse for a lot cheaper, right? <laughs> not, okay. No, it's not that much worse for a lot cheaper. That's what I mean. So that's going to be fine. I think we are going to make some stuff out of concrete. And I think what I really want to do is maybe I will make the outside parts out of nanotube and then the inside out of concrete. That way it will be the best bang for my buck kind of situation. And then we could always like paint the floors or something if we're a little bit worried. So I think that's might be what I'll do. That's probably what I'll do if I do decide to build them a bigger house here. So because <laughs> I'm cheap. I hear that you are now able to smelt it or bake it in here, the cement. But I am not, obviously, because I just, it didn't happen, right? It didn't update with the update. So if you are creating a new game, that's where you will find the cement. You'll be able to put them here and you'll just have to handle furnaces. But otherwise, you'll have to craft it in the workbench like me, like a peasant. But that's okay. I have really good crafters. I have Yoko and I have Vivian. I'm not really worried about it at all. As far as my defenses go, though, I can tell that you can't do a concrete little wall either. Basically, the half walls are only stone, brick. I mean, brick being the best one that I can possibly get by a lot. Uh, but yeah, I'm not able to do any half walls otherwise. So I think I'm just going to have to settle for the big walls. It's unfortunate, but I think it's, it's the only way to do it, really. I've grabbed Daniel to go ahead and deconstruct these. Because that way I can start building. There he is. I've basically given this boy a meltdown, though, by doing that. <laughs> but he did get it done. So that's great. And now we can focus on our walls. I will make the carbon walls and I will make them here. I'm thinking that I'll also move these lights down one, at the very least, just to make sure that they're not right next to the flamethrowers. I feel like that's going to be problematic, right? I also don't want them to explode, though, whenever, you know, the little explodey boys blow up. So I want to make sure that they're well behind a wall or anything to take care of them. But they're not too far, right? Because we do need the light. The only problem I have with this, though... Oh, I, I do not like how the walls go different height, but I guess they do that everywhere, right? They do that over here, too, so it's fine. Okay, there we go. We're making a platform here. It's a 3 by 5 which I think it's going to be just more than enough. And then I'm thinking I'll put some platforms here in the back and put some turrets back there, too. But the flamethrowers are going to do a great job, and then we can probably put some turrets up here, too. If I really wanted to, I could copy this and extend it out. I want to make sure that there's enough room between these and this. So maybe I even want to push it back one, which is not going to be a big deal once they have the rifles. But right now, you know, it's obviously <laughs> horrifying. But I'm going to push it back, I think, at least maybe one or two. We'll make it right now because we're broke. We'll make it by three, right? A three by five. I think that's pretty reasonable. And you could always put a wall in front of it. You could always put a concrete wall in front of it, like a fortification. That's going to help a lot, too. And then I'm thinking that I'll also put turrets on the sides here. Just as close as I can. I will need some stairs for this. But I think for right now, just to save a little bit of money. And yeah, it's going to look horrible. But we're going to make them out of wood. It's fine. The reason why there needs to be stairs back here, guys, is because the bugs need to identify this as a place where they can walk up. And that means the bugs will have to go this way, right? And go up the ramp. So that gives me extra area to shoot here. And then I'm also thinking I could put some turrets here in the back to help me out. So as they're going up, they would also get absolutely demolished. And all this is made out of wood because it doesn't need to be made out of anything else. And I think that will help things out. And as far as this goes, I will have to add a room to the top of this. Just to make sure that my guys don't die to the birds. This is basically key. For now, it'll just be open air, which I think it's going to be just fine. For this area, I have basically redone the whole thing over and over and over again. You can tell that I can't finish this off. That's because the flamethrowers are there and they won't allow me to place. So I'll need to have these moved like ASAP. So that's one thing that needs to get done. We also have the lights here, which I have moved up a little bit. You can tell that they're back here. Now they're a little bit forward. I think that's going to help things out a lot. And I just have to make sure that these are protected. If there's any gap in between them, the bugs will try to get in there. The bugs will try to attack. It'll be super annoying. So I have to make sure that that doesn't happen. 
And I also have to make sure that there's enough of a path for them to go all the way for the finish line, you know? So that's going to be my primary concern as of right now. But I like the way this is going. I'm just, I'm not sure it's going to fully work, but I'm hoping. I could also put some turrets here and like close this off fully, which was one of the suggestions. And that's exactly what I was thinking. So that's going to be happening, I think, in the future. I'm just making sure that this works just right. So for now, I will go ahead and put, well, Carter is still doing the mining, so I don't want him to take any breaks from that. I want him to finish that off and get the rest of that. And then I'm going to probably put our boy Daniel on construction. Oop, not Carter. Daniel. Right here. He's going to construct. So he's going to take a little bit of a break from researching, which is not a big deal. And he's going to get to constructing as much as he can. This all needs to be done because I need more flamethrowers. So let's go ahead and place a couple more of these here. Just because we're going to have to make them, so we might as well. The people will start bringing them over, so that's going to help a lot. And there we are. Yoko's transporting now the metal there. The metal is going to get drained immediately, which means I probably want to copy a couple more of these. If I want to be honest, I want to get like at least four, maybe more going. We do have plenty. Well, I say plenty. <laughs> oh, calm down me. We do not have plenty. But we do have a little bit of metal to burn. And then we can go get some more. It's not the end of the world. We can also mine some stuff out here. Oh my god, we already mined this out. <laughs> There's other stuff, I promise. Yeah, here. We can mine this ore deposit out. That will help. Tanya, why are you melting down, my man? Okay, he's constructing the stairs. I gotta say, the stairs being up there is fine. I'm not like 100% sure about this, but you know, I'm never sure about anything. Oh, there he goes. A food bench. Not the worst one, I'll be honest. We do also have Xander transporting from back there, I just realized, but they still have a little bit left to go. I hope I have enough carbon to do this. I mean, I really don't think I've gone that wild. Oh, but it would be really nice to finish this base. I don't think it's going to be done during the spring, I'll be honest with you guys. I think this is more like a summer project to work on this court base. But I like where it's going, you know? I appreciate the effort. And Yoko is about to use all our metal for this effort. Oh no. Oh, and they're close. <laughs> oh, Xander, please don't run by them. Don't run by... Oh, he's running right through them. All right, he's going to have to leave the stuff there and run this way. Oh, I hope they find that stuff. It's 140 nanotubes. Now, there is a problem, which is these are going to get attacked hard. I am a little bit worried, but I think they'll just run past them. I'm, if I have to be honest, they're just going to run past. This is going to be a really rough attack. Oh my god, are we going to struggle here? Daniel, you're also going to have to be drafted, I think. You have no choice. Uh, he's moving the flamethrowers, though, so maybe I'll let him finish that. Carter, please get over here. He's crossing right through the house. It's like he's inviting them over for a little picnic. Okay, Daniel, draft, and you're going to be back here. You're absolutely useless. Okay, here we go. Carter, my man, move forward. Xander, Vivian, Yoko. We're doing fine. We're doing absolutely fine. Oh, this is going to be such a rough attack. Okay. I mean, look, how bad could he be? Okay, Yoko, you're going to start on that guy. And in fact, Carter, you're also going to... Everybody. The little bugs will get stuck. You have to think about it that way. Oh, there's so many misses. They're so... Hungry pests too? Oh my god. I forget the hungry pests. Who cares? Okay, Yoko's getting hit. Yoko's getting hit. Yoko, run. Yoko, girl, run. Okay, good. Focus on these now. Vivian, run. Oh, thank God. Okay, okay. Where's Daniel? Okay, Daniel's safe. We're fine. They're kind of busting in, but honestly, that was a really good attack, considering the situation. That our horde base is basically not complete at all. And we have not gotten any, any kind of weapon upgrades. We're really going to have to work on making our own, I think. But this is working. This is working. I'm moving Xander up. And we are going to have to do a little bit of repairs on Vivian and Yoko, but I think that's okay. Let's 3x this sucker. Oh, hang on. Everybody's not, not attacking right now. <laughs> They're dying through the traps. That's awesome. All right. Perfect. Undraft them all. Awesome. Really, really good. Honestly, I, like, I know I complain a lot, but that was, that was great. That was excellent. What is even happening here? Hungry pests too? Oh my god, I forget the hungry pests. Who cares? Are they attacking my stuff? They attack Carter too? I legit thought they didn't attack. 
Come here, come here. I didn't know these attacked anymore. I thought they didn't. At least Daniel is going for a meal. Oh, dude, Vivian. Go home, Vivian. Carter is also going to have to go soon. He is getting absolutely destroyed. Carter, go away. Go away, Carter. He's in so much trouble. What is this happening? I can't believe I'm dying to pass, man. All right, you're just going to have to make sure. Okay, is Vivian done bleeding? She is done bleeding. So take a second from, from there. Self-destruct alert. Not right now. All right, he's healing Carter. He's healing Carter. We're doing fine. Xander and Yoko are handling this, whatever the hell this is. I think these stupid bugs are still attacking me, though. I don't know how these two are going to survive this, dude. But it's fine. They're doing their best. I can't believe it. They destroyed my flamethrowers and everything. They destroyed everything. So the pests now are like real attacks. And it happened right after the other attack. Are you kidding me? Oh, everybody is in so much trouble. All right, Daniel, heal him. Heal him. I know you want to heal your woman, but please... Heal Xander. And now we have Yoko here, still struggling, all by herself, mind you. Undraft her. My god. Daniel, save them. How did this turn so violent so quickly? I... I'm gonna have to send somebody out here. They're getting destroyed. Everything's still getting attacked. My poor flamethrowers. This is such bullshit. One stupid bug. <laughs> I can't believe this is actually happening. I, I can't believe we survived the whole attack and died to freaking Mantis. <gasps> oh, yeah, this is like, I wasn't ready. I was not ready. Okay, Carter, Carter, please. Incapable of fighting due to severely decreased body functions. Okay, is anybody able to fight? You know what? Vivian. Vivian, get him. Get him, girl. Come on, Vivian. You got this. She's going to be a little bit slow. A little bit sluggish. Oh, he died by itself. Great. Lovely. <laughs> oh my god. What an end. What an end to an otherwise successful day. Holy crap. That was nuts. I hate these bugs. I hated them before. I really hate them now. So like before they used to just eat your garden. I don't know why they didn't go from my garden. They were hungry and this is all planted. And open, you know, ready for the taking. But no, they came from my people and I was not prepared. Right? They don't all have melee weapons. That's a big deal. And number two, they are just like not in the mood. They had just fought a whole battle. Well, well, well. If I didn't have to work on the Horde base this summer, I am going to have to work on it now. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this spring. I feel like we got a lot done. We definitely attacked our first nest, which was amazing. We got our farm finished. That's also wonderful. And then, you know, we set up our Horde base. Whether it's ready or not, well, we can safely say... Is less ready than it was before. Thanks again. If you enjoyed, remember to leave a like, and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Until then, bye. Freaking Mantis.